Hey everyone, it's Matt. Welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, I'm going to show you how to invite guests to Microsoft Teams. We're going to take this in two steps. First of all, I'm going to show you how to invite your guest. And then next, I'm going to show you what the guest sees when they have to accept the invitation. So to get started, you go to the team you want to invite your guest to. In my case, it's this one, Mark 8 Project Team. I'm going to choose the ellipsis next to the name of the team. And I've got two options here. I can either manage team or I can go add members. If I choose manage team, that will give me a list of all the people already in the team. And I can choose add member from here. Then you type in the email address of the guest you want to invite. In this case, it's collabcoach1 at gmail.com. Now, because collabcoach1 at gmail.com isn't in my organization, you'll see this dialogue that says add collabcoach1 at gmail.com as a guest. So you choose that and then you choose add. So you wait a few moments and once the close button lights up, that piece is done. And then you'll see collabcoach1 listed as a guest in your members list. And that's all you need to do for the invitation. Now we'll switch over to what the guest will see when they receive the invitation. So now I've switched computers and I'm logged into Gmail as the guest. And in my inbox, I'll now see an email from Microsoft Teams. And in that email, there's a bunch of information about the team. And I've also got a button that says open Microsoft Teams. So if I click on this, it gives me a message saying I've been invited to Microsoft Teams, but I'll need a Microsoft account. So I just want to take a second to explain what's going on here. Although the invitation was received to the Gmail account, we still need a Microsoft account to log into Microsoft Teams. So in this case, we're going to have to create a new account with Microsoft using the Gmail address. So essentially, you'll end up with two accounts. One's Gmail, one's Microsoft but they both have the same username password. With that in mind, let's go create our Microsoft account. So from here, we press next and we're taken to a create account page. And you can see it's entered the email address, the Gmail in this case, already. So I can just press next. Then it wants a password for the new account. So I'm, I'm gonna use the same password as my other account, press next. Now it just wants a few details about you. So we'll just fill this in. I'm just gonna pick randomly and press next. Now it's asking for a code. So the code will be sent to the Gmail address. So I'm gonna switch back to Gmail and in my inbox I should see an email from the Microsoft account team here. So if I open that up, you'll see the code. So I can just copy it, switch back to the setup page and paste the code in. And I'll uncheck promotional emails and hit next. Now I need to type in this capture code and then hit next. So you finally get through to Microsoft Teams and you've got a choice. If you have the desktop app installed on your computer, you can choose to use that, or you can just use Teams in the browser. In this case, I'm just gonna cancel the desktop app and open in the web app. So it sometimes takes a little while, and eventually you land on this page, which says, welcome to Teams. And this will be the tenant name. So in my case, it's this uh, unusual one, but this will be the name of your company usually. Then you hit continue. And I have cut out bits for the video to make it a bit easier to watch. So there will be longer gaps between the steps in real time. And eventually you land on the team homepage and you've got access to the team. Now, when I've been testing this, I have noticed the initial sign-in can fail once or even twice. And the way to work around that is to go back to the email and press the open Microsoft Teams button again. And I've had to do this once or even twice in some cases. 
So that's it. In this video, we looked at how to invite guests to Microsoft Teams and what the guest sees when they accept the invitation. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And if you like these videos, please share them with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be posting new ones every week.